Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, how's everybody making out? It's Saturday morning here, 11.30 a.m. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit, if I can, about John Primble. John Primble uh, Knives. Um, now, the reason why I want to do that is because I have become infatuated <laughs> uh, with John Primble cutlery um the first john primble knife that i received was this guy back here this is a john primble um just want to show you what we're talking about here and i'll explain to you a little bit more in depth in a minute what's that say right there I can't read that on perfection. John Pringle steel jackknife perfection. Perfect, perfect something perfection. Uh, John Pringle in the middle there. Uh, let's see if I could. There we go. You can see that there. India Steel Works Pringle. Perfect Texas Jack knife. There you go. And you could see John Primble Steelworks. Sorry guys, I was cleaning up some knives. My hands get a little dirty right now. Sorry about that. Um, but you could see I was working on this one, cleaning it up. The fit and finish on these knives are impeccable. Just really really impressive fit and finish on these guys um i do not know a lot about primble cutlery primble knives john primble but i can tell you this much um i've begun um to start following them or trying to acquire um more and more of them because I am so impressed with their quality, their fit and finish. And I just really found an eye for these Primble knives. I just, I don't, maybe it's me. Maybe I don't know why. Um, I just found a love for uh, John Prim Primble knives. You can see right there how beautiful. Look at that shield. Look at that bone. Look at that. Look how beautiful that bone is done. I mean, it looks beautiful. Look at this back spacer, that back spine, how beautiful that back spine is done with them brass liners. I mean, this piece is just high quality. I mean, it's just high quality. Um, there's nothing more I could say. And it's affordable knives. They're affordable knives. They're not like they're gonna, you're going to break the bank. Um, you know, they're, they're reasonably affordable. It's like normal, like this is probably like a $60 knife, um, that I could remember. They're all like 50 and $60 in that price range. Um, but I just want to show you a couple of these. Then after I had that one, another one, I was looking around and another one came up, another Prim John Primble came up and this and then I found this, and I was like, oh, man. I was like, okay, um, maybe I'm on to something here. Then I really started to investigate and try to figure out. Um, see, it says it right there, John Primble. Uh, what's that say there? Primble Finest Steel. Um, John Primble Finest Steel. And then I was reading that, and then I came down here to the tang, and it says John Primble, uh, Louisi, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky, right? Um, the back here says authorized production something i can't read i'm having a real tough time reading this stuff the little print um but what i'm saying is this fit and finish 
is just beautiful and the bone work and everything about these knives are incredible, right? So let's try and open this up. Does that pen blade say anything? No, the pen blade don't say anything, right? Um, but they're just absolutely um, beautiful pieces of cutlery to me. They're the, they're the most beautiful pieces of cutlery uh, that I've seen, you know, like, not that I've seen. Um, just, they really, they're really get, grabbing my attention, you know what I mean? They really get my attention. So let's move on. So then, after I uh, spotted this, um, this piece, now these two pieces, then I found this. Now this is a Stockman, a beautiful Stockman. Look at the fit and finish on that Stockman. Look at that. Now I've been working on this one, cleaning this one up. I have been working with this one. This one didn't come all peachy and creamy. But nevertheless, um, I'm cleaning it up very, very well here. And I'm going to open up these blades and show you what we're looking at here. Hold on a second. Let's just take a, let's, I hope you guys got a little bit of time to spend with me today. I'd appreciate it. I'd greatly appreciate some of your time. But then we come here and it says, John Primble. And then it, it's got that. I can't read that, man. Even that close, I can't. It says something in the middle there. Then it says, finest steel again. Number 3258, which I have no idea what that means. Uh, John Primble, Manchester, Ohio. Is that what that says? USA? Um, but this is a rosewood. This is in rosewood uh covers and it's just a beautiful beautiful um stockman you could see the fit and finish is just beautiful let's close these blades um and look look around this piece for a minute um but just look at the depth Look at the rosewood, how it, how it's lighter up in here and it gets darker and darker up top. It's just, what I'm trying to say is they're beautifully built. The fit and finish is exquisite, is absolutely exquisite on these John Primble knives. And um, boy, I'll tell you, man, if I could find more of these, I'm really on the hunt now. I got my eye open and I'm searching. I mean, I'm searching high and low for John Primble knives cutlery because I am that impressed with John Primble. I mean, look at the fit and finish. Just look at that back spine. Tight as a butterfly's hiney. Look at that. I mean, that thing is... You know, I mean, that thing is really good. And I'm not even done cleaning this one up. I've cleaned this rosewood all up. I've gotten the dirt and everything out of it and really scrubbed and cleaned this up. And it still needs more work. But I wanted to turn this uh, phone on to show you guys. I couldn't wait to show you guys this stuff. Some of these knives. Back to this one again. This is a sow belly. Look at this sow belly. Look at that. Look at that corset. I think they call that a corset shield. Could I be wrong? Pinch bolsters. Look at the pinch bolsters. Back spine again is beautiful. Um... If there's anything you could tell me about John Primble, I think I asked this question before too. 
perfect, perfect jackknife. India blade works. It's just not really making sense to me. I don't know. Um, there's a number back there. This number up here, or this, what it says up here, it says India Steel Works. John Primble, India Steel Works. Why does it keep saying uh, Steel Works? What's that mean? Does anybody know what India Stag Steel Works means? I don't, I don't understand any of this. I really don't. That's why I'm looking off to you guys here. I know somebody's. I know somebody out there is like a, a John Primble aficionado, knows everything about John Primble knives. I'll guarantee. Watch, I'll be getting text. I'll be getting messages about John Primble. I'll be like, what? I'll be reading it, you know, because there are people that research all this stuff, man. There's people out there. I just don't. I don't know what it is, man. I just don't know if I have. I don't have the, not the time, it's the patience, the research, to research all this. Now, I can only take it so far. I research my stuff so far. I'll look around, I'll look stuff up a little bit here and there, and then I get frustrated with it, and then it's like, you know, I don't stick with it, you know? It's something I should do, especially with these, because I'm really into these giant brimbles, you know? So I should find out. A little bit about these pieces it's something that I enjoy and that I like so why wouldn't I want to know about them you know what I mean why wouldn't I want to know about them so it says John Primble finest steel it always got that steel on there finest steel is John Primble steel a steel fa a company or what is John Primble and down here it says John Primble, uh, Louisiana, Louisville, Kentucky. Now this one is different than the other one up there. They both they're in different spots. This one says Kentucky on it, and this one says something different. Let me see if I could find that. This one says, yeah, Manchester. Manchester. This one says Manchester, Ohio on it. Okay. And this devil reads Louisville, Kentucky. Now, I'm confused. I am super, super, super confused. So if there's anybody out there that could help me out or just a little bit, it would be wonderful. All right, I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer. I just wanted to give you guys a look at that. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you know anything about John Primble. I'd appreciate it. All right, guys. Uh, you just be good, be well, be safe. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.